All right, so real quick guys, post edit. I just want to go ahead right now and put the accuracy requirements for the level 200, 250, 300, 350, and 400 for the Ancient Apostles. They should be the same for each boss, but I'm going to go ahead and put the picture right now. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So today's video is going to be a beginner's guide to the Ancient Apostle bosses at level 200 plus. So with the recent update and the new release of the DLC, uh, the Ancient Apostle bosses, for example, the uh, the Reaper right down here, the uh, the Knight here, the Kobo Lord here, and then Gleemai is right down here. These bosses have a new level cap now and all of them can go to 400 plus and all of them can have a new look design at 200. So I'm going to be showing mostly what you can use to fight these and how you can have at least an easier time to do it. So for gear, these are the new XT gears that I have on besides the necklace. I just have this one on for some reason. But um, you, you can get these from, if you have the DLC, some of these you can get from trash mobs. I believe just about everything you can get from trash mobs, just killing them. Um, you just more, you have more of a better chant, I would say, from the, the ancient apostle bosses from their chests, since you can open two chests that have a chance to have these gears. But for the most part, alloy sword right here, this will be the best thing, um after light wolf now so this is the best sword in the game but if you have the dlc i would also suggest if you really need accuracy you can use the forget me not and you can level that up here's its stats at plus 30 and you can still use skyrims um i will also demonstrate that so i'll go ahead and put these on you can still use Skyrim's for a while, uh, the only reason you'd want to use Light Wolf is for the extra accuracy, so you can kind of run some more passives, but you can still use Skyrim's for a bit until you get some of these XT gears. So, got the new armor, the black light clothes, has Rising Spirit and Sword Dance, I highly recommend once you get this, you level it up. And, you know, I got, I got three of these, one for just my main gear. Uh, one being for down damage, one being for hazard, just in case I really need accuracy. Um, for these slots, you can still use, you know, regular stone lotus. Um, this slot right here, you can still put the regular ring of tranquility for your bulwark. Um, everything else here is pretty much still the same. God robe, I will recommend for kobold lore, pretty much, as you will need that against his minions. But... Um, usually just a Reaper's Wrath, but passives, Rising Spirit, Killing Blow, Evil God Bloodline, and Clear Flash for more super hard duration, and these are generally the same as well. You can get a new Guardian Dragon Armor from these chests, uh, it also comes with this passive cooldown time. I recommend once you get this, you also put the, uh, this, this incarnation on it as well, and put this on your, uh, your combat skills so you can get them back faster. As for sword skills, still the same. You can get another abyssal ring. If you, like I said, without the, if you don't have XT gear, these XT gears, I would recommend just going with the same setup as before. So like what I had in my East Extreme for beginners, that's pretty much what you would use for these bosses right now. But a replacement for this, you can use the non XT version. Steel Riding Armor, you can use the non-XT version as well. As for hazarding, I just went ahead and put Black Light Clothes on instead of uh, White Mist, since now with the new Ring of Tranquility, it can come with Unfreezing on it. So, if you don't have Black Light Clothes or that Ring of Tranquility, you can still use the White Mist. And again, you can just use the regular um, Abyssal Ring there. Nightmare Rain is the exact same, it's just pure hazard. 
and starburst stream is the same as shine circular it's just down damage as for records um, definitely go nimble because you will want as much accuracy as you can and up type now as for AI philia is still the same um, just fireball for speed another bulwark tiger and a reaper those are for stacking um, I highly recommend having a tank as well just to be safe um, especially for kobold too once you get him higher and higher in levels he will be harder to deal with because of those minions as well but there is a trick you can do for them so so far still demon slayer is the best for her uh, the extreme raid mace since it uh, since the DLC didn't give her uh, any new maces that you could get or the uh, the XT gear there's nothing better than this right now for a pure tank uh, the new guardian dragon armor is way better stat wise and then I just threw on the uh, this XT cloak and XT cerulean necklace but instead you can use the same thing as before I had on her and that's just the non XT guardian dragon armor and then for right here you can uh, you could put the forgotten ring on her with high vitality and then right here you can use the lilac waist cloth which is down here and it's this right here you can get some you can get one with high vitality and then uh, the passive on it that's what I was running for her before getting these XT gears on her as for Silica, still is the wits user. At once you get the bosses to a a certain level, you will start to not be able to land wits. I believe it's like level three twenty. It'll it'll kind of drop off. So at that point, your best bet is using either Mind Break if you just build them for straight accuracy, since Mind Break can also have that uh that risk, and then. You can also use Falcon Fist, which if I remember correctly, that just requires accuracy to land. So that can also inflict some risk. But I just have her with her new dagger. It can come with a special accuracy passive, so I just put this on her for right now because it was better than my Dagger of White Knight. I haven't really built her since the update yet. I haven't had, I, have, I just haven't gotten to building her really. Close the Tranquility I just have on our default, double passive landscape, Abyssal Ring for Wits. Um, Mind Break, this is just pure accuracy. Um, I haven't even chained to this really either. Black Chains, this is used for special accuracy. Child of Chaos is used for special accuracy. These can also, you know, slow the mob down a little bit. And then Wits, I just have the Close the Tranquility on from before with the special accuracy incarnation and then I have I'm stacking my other landscape with uh, the previous one with a uh, double passive and then right here is the special accuracy special accuracy then accuracy and accuracy so that's kinda it for the build for the most part um, I can't really swap back to some other stuff as before because with the recent update, they made it to where you can use your memory coins to swap stats. Well, not swap stats, but swap levels on gears. So this is what I mean. When you go to the memory coins, you have this thing called create gear. You actually don't create anything from this. What it does is, first off, you select one weapon. So for example, this plus 10 light wolf. And then say I want to get my Night Sky to plus 10. I select the Night Sky next, and as you can see, it carries over the level of my Light Wolf to my Night Sky. And each time, this will require 100 coins. So this is basically if uh, this is basically if you don't want to go farm those shards again, you can just transfer the level of the weapon you were using previously and put it on a better weapon. So for example, if you want to get rid of your Light Wolf. Um, you can transfer the level of that to your alloy sword but keep in mind you will need a hundred coins to do this each time and another thing is that you have to at least have that alloy sword at plus five to then be able to select it from here so hopefully that makes sense now I will be going over to the uh, 
to the night boss. I've gotten my Reaper to level 400 and I've gotten my Kobold Lord to 400. Out of all these bosses, I would say the easiest would be the Knight. The next easiest would be Reaper. But keep in mind, Reaper does have a move where he will lock you in place for a bit and reduce your defense. And then he will do a, a move that I think pretty much one-shots you all the time because he hit 999,000 on me with that. And then next, I would say his easiest is probably Gleam Eyes. But keep in mind, he will do a buff at the start of the battle. And then Kobo Lord would be the hardest because the minions, but you can uh, use the AoE passive to deal with them. So I'm just going to show you, even with these Skyrims, it'll still work. Um, the only difference is, like I said, I have the XT gear on my customs. Because pretty much most of the non-XT gear I sold now at this point because there's no reason for me to have them. Because the XT gear is better. But you will at least see that the uh, that the Skyrims can still work. I will also post in the uh, in the beginning. I will post the accuracy requirements for the the bosses. I will also post it in the description below or the comment section below. But I will post those as well. So as you can see, this is the level 200 knight version. He just becomes golden. Now pretty much going to do the same thing as usual, just buff. And then debuff. Move back a little bit. And as you can see, that was just one final revolution to hazard him. And there you go. So like I said, Skyruns, they can still go for a while on these bosses. As long as you have the... As long as you can get the accuracy and still do enough damage to kill them pretty quickly. Um, but like I said, if you get lucky... You can get an alloy sword pretty early. And I'd say once you get that alloy sword, go upgrade it and then put your uh, get your bond level on it and definitely start using that. But that'll be it for this video. I just wanted to make this short little beginner guide for those. Um, like I said, Skyrims can still work for a while, and then once you, if you get lucky enough and you get two alloy swords, I'd recommend go upgrade those. If you have Light Wolves, it'll be at least more easier for you because the accuracy on the Light Wolves, and then like I said, after that, alloy swords. So um, I will put the accuracy requirements. Like I said, I'll probably put that way in the beginning. I'll probably split that in in some part of the video and put that in the beginning. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.